Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. God is good and he's worthy to be praised. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. 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 God wants you to cross for us. Amen. God sent his son. Oh, yeah. 
doubts and it comes my fears and it dries all my tears away the blood that gives me strength Amen and amen. Amen. To God be the glory. Amen. <coughs> Turn with me to Colossians chapter 1. Amen. We're going to begin reading at verse 12. Amen. We're going to begin reading at verse 12. There we find these words, giving thanks to the Father who has qualified us to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in the light. He has delivered us from the power of darkness and conveyed us into the kingdom of the Son of His love, in whom we have redemption through His blood. The forgiveness of sins. Amen. He is the image of the invisible God. The firstborn over all creation. For by him all things were created that are in heaven and that are on earth. Visible and invisible. Whether thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. All things were created through him and for him, and he is before all things, and in him all things consist. And he is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he may have the preeminence. Amen. I want to share with you the headline. Amen. You may be seated. The headline. Now, 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 many of us, if not all of us, at some point or another have been to a concert. Have you been to a concert before? Yeah. Amen. Uh, you go to a concert and uh, before uh, the headline hits the stage, uh, they're going to bring somebody else to the stage. They're going to bring this individual up and they're going to sing a song or two and somebody else may come up and they're going to sing a song or two. Uh, but uh, as you listen to all of these singers sing, sometimes it's the length of the concert almost, uh, depending on what concert it is. And, uh, and as you hear them sing, there's something that's deep-seated in the back of our minds that is just kind of holding out for the headline. Right. Uh, as much as we enjoy, as much as we clap, we stand to our feet, we sing along with them, uh, yet there is something that's reserved inside of us that is, is still waiting for the headline. 
it may be Parliament on confronting where am I date myself. <laughs> Uh, it may be Kirk Franklin. Well. Yes, uh, but but you're waiting for the headliner to come to the stage, and and finally the moment arrives, and they get on the stage, and the crowd just goes wild because yeah. that individual is now positioned on the stage, and the lights are shining and beaming down on them, and. And they're there with the microphone in their hand, and they began to hit a note. Uh, can you remember? Yes. Uh, well, my brothers and sisters, the prophets took the stage. And uh, folk fell in love with them. The angels took the stage, and everyone were delighted to have the messengers of God to come and to share. The priests took the stage and they offered up bullocks and rams and heifers and, and we were delighted to have atonement to come our way and to have a covering over our sin. Moses took the stage and he talked with God and the glow was upon his face as he would come down off of the mountain and the people would constantly quote from Moses. They would share what uh, he had to say. The law took the stage. And the law would, 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 would always echo in our ears and we would hear the law and the prophets. But they too had to slide over. The old covenant took the stage. The earthly sanctuary took the stage. The animal sacrifices were there with the priests on stage. But my brothers and sisters, here comes Jesus, front and center. He was always there. Behind every line, there was the scarlet thread. He was always there. The spotlight may have been shining on all of these other individuals who would come and show up down through the years, down through history, uh, but Jesus was always there. Now the spotlight shines and beams down from heaven, and, and now we see the headliner. He would show up in our lives, and as he shows up, in our lives as he takes the stage my brothers and sisters we all be on our feet yes, yes uh, if not literally figuratively in our hearts they all be standing up rejoicing uh, that Jesus Christ now has taken the stage Jesus Christ has come and enclosed himself in flesh and blood and he walked among us Yes, my brothers and sisters, the moment that we've all been waiting for. Yes, bulls and doves have been offered up for us, but the moment that we've been waiting for, uh, the headliner is now uh, in the forefront of our minds. Uh, and so all across this country, uh, in churches near and far, Folk have stopped to gather around to celebrate this headliner. Uh, they have stopped and paused to celebrate the fact that he has come. Uh, but not only did he come into this world, uh, yes, uh, to live uh, and to suffer and to die, uh, but we stop and we pause uh, because he also rose again. Mm -hmm. And that is the message of this morning. Yes, uh, Every individual on the stage was ultimately leading up to the appearance of, of Jesus Christ. Uh, it's Jesus Christ uh, that we see uh, in all uh, of history. History past, uh, history present, and history future. In, in, in the midst of it all, uh, we see him. He is right there. And so, my brothers and sisters, first of all, if you're taking notes, I want you to write this down. Uh, Christ of creation. Yes, uh, he 
takes the stage uh, this morning. Uh, yes, he was there in the midst of all of creation. Look at verse 15. Uh, he is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn uh, of, over all creation. Yes, when you look at Jesus Christ and you see him born in a manger, mm -hmm. as you see Jesus Christ as he would allow himself to grow and to blossom and bloom uh, as you would see him uh, in the temple uh, discussing uh, important matters with those religious leaders of the day. Uh, you see a, a portrait of God himself. Yes, the, the imprint of him stands, uh, yes, throughout the nature, throughout creation, uh, throughout all the, the visible that we see. Uh, when we look out and we see the mountains, uh, there he is. His fingerprints are, are on them. Uh, when we look out and we see the oceans, uh, there he is. Uh, his handprint is upon it. When we look out, uh, no matter where we look, how far or, we, or why we look, we will constantly see the hand of God upon creation. Uh, he is the image of the invisible God. And so as he would speak uh, to the disciples, as he would speak to the Jews, uh, as he would speak to the Pharisees, uh, he would say to them, uh, if you've seen the Father, you have, you, if you've seen me, you have seen uh, the Father. Uh, he says to them, uh, if I and the Father are one. Mm. Yes, uh, his words uh, were on the par of God's words. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word uh, was God. Yes, Jesus Christ, the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all of creation. Uh, I can't carry that too long. Uh, it, he's not suggesting uh, that, that he is that he was uh, at some point or another himself created. Uh, yes, uh, but, but what he is sharing with us is that he is the creator of everything. Mm -hmm. Look at verse 16. For by him all things were created that are in heaven and that are on the earth, visible and invisible, rather thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. All things were created through him and for him. He is the Christ of creation. Mm. Yes. Uh, and so when we look at him, uh, yes, uh, we can't help but re be reminded that all things were made through him. And without him, nothing was made that was made. Uh, in him was life, and the life was the life of men. I'm here because of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, truth of the matter is, my brothers and sisters, uh, you are here because of Jesus. Uh, you're not here by chance. Uh, you're not here by because of some micro, uh, yes, uh, organism. Uh, you, you're not here, uh, yes, because you crawled up out of a swamp. Uh, yes, uh, became bigger and better, brighter and smarter. Uh, no, my brothers and sisters, you are here because the hand of God is upon you. You're not here by chance. Uh, you are here because we have a creator in Christ Jesus uh, who spoke it into existence uh, and because he said let there be uh, in the beginning uh, yes you are here uh, because he blew into man the breath of life uh, the spirit of God uh, man was able to get up uh, in the image of God yes uh, we are here because Christ is uh, our creator. The world is his uh, and the fullness thereof. Uh, I know we can go on and tarry there, but let me move forward. Uh, yes, not only is he the Christ of creation, but he is also the Christ of the cross. Uh, 
Yes, uh, he created us. Uh, old folk used to say it like this, he made me and he know all about me. But because he knows all about me, yes, uh, he, he knew that I needed a savior. Because he knows all about me. Uh, yes, he knew that, that I was in a fallen state. Because he knows all about you. Uh, he knew uh, that, that at our best we are filthy rags. Uh, because he knows all about us. Uh, yes, uh, my brothers and sisters, uh, God sent Jesus uh, from heaven down. Yes, he did. That he might... Uh, being robed in flesh and blood. Yes. The incarnate Christ. Yes, uh, not only is God uh, in creation responsible for our birth, but he is also responsible for our opportunity, for the availability of our new birth. Yes. Can I get a witness? Yes. yes, God makes it possible for us to live again. We, we need not remain in a fallen state. We need not remain as unredeemed. We need not remain as individuals who have a depraved mind, a depraved heart. Yes, we, we, we need not remain deceitful. We need not remain a reprobate. Yes, but I stop by to tell you that God Yes, to create in us a clean heart. God has come to elevate us. Yes, he allows us to live and to walk in our destiny. He allows us to walk with purpose in our lives. We don't have to remain, yes, the way that we were. Yes, we can be better. We can do better. We can achieve better. Yes, that's what God is doing in our lives. Listen. And he is before all things and in him, verse 17, all things consist. Colossians 1, 17, he says, God did not just simply create the world and leave it to itself. But he is there in the midst of it all, ensuring that it continue to succeed. Listen, he says, and he is before all things, and in him all things consist. That word consist is a compound word. It means uh, to hold with, to hold together. In the midst of the world in which we live, some people saying, well, how come there is so much chaos in the world? There, somebody is saying, well, how come, uh, yes, evil is allowed to exist? How come, uh, yes, uh, ISIS uh, is allowed to exist? How come the Taliban is allowed to exist? How come it, individuals who have such malice and, and hatred in their heart are able to walk into a school and, and do such horrific acts? Uh, Yes, uh, that we have seen across the land over and over again. Yes, if there was a God, then, then God would not allow this. But I stopped by to tell you that, my brothers and sisters, if it was not for the hand of God on this world, uh, yes, uh, it would have spun out of control. When I was a boy, Yes, uh, we had these things called spinning tops. Mm. Yes, uh, it came with the spirit, but it also came with, with, with a string. Uh, and you would wrap the string around it, uh, and you would uh, then uh, release it. Uh, and it, as you would release it and yank on it, uh, it would begin to spin. Uh, and it would spin, and it would look so nice uh, as it spin. 
spins around. Yes, uh, us kids would just simply gather around and watch it uh, and see who could spin their top the longest, uh, the fastest, uh, and the best. Uh, yes, uh, but my brothers and sisters, uh, that spinning top, at some point or another, uh, it would begin to slow down. Uh, and as it slowed down, uh, it would begin uh, to wobble. Uh, yes, uh, and, and ultimately it would topple over uh, and fall down. Mm. Yes, uh, my brothers and sisters, what I want you to understand uh, is this. Uh, God created the world uh, and it began and it continues uh, to orbit around. Uh, yes, uh, and, and my brothers and sisters, uh, yes, not a man, one of us uh, have fallen off yet. Uh, yes, uh, God allows it to spin around uh, and then he created what we call gravity uh, that allows my feet uh, to rest kind of down uh, on the earth. Uh, yes, uh, without the worries of uh, uh, flying off uh, when I get on a ride uh, at Magic Mountain, Knott's Berry Farm, uh, or Disneyland. Uh, I gotta make sure uh, that I'm strapped in tight. Uh, I gotta make sure uh, that that steel bar uh, is in front of me. Uh, yes, uh, so that I don't fly off uh, because that ride uh, is man-made. Uh, but I stop by to tell you uh, that the world Needed. Uh, no bars uh, need to be in front of us uh, as we walk uh, to and fro uh, on this planet Earth. Amen. Can I get a witness? Yes. Yes. Uh, my brothers and sisters, uh, because Jesus Christ came here to this creation of his, uh, yes, uh, that which uh, is fallen, that which is broken, uh, can be put back together again. Uh, yes, uh, when my spinning top uh, would fall over, uh, all it needed uh, was for me. Yes, uh, you didn't catch that. My spinning top would fall over. Uh, all it needed uh, was me. Uh, take my little string, uh, wrap it around it, uh, yes, uh, and throw it again, uh, and it would go back to spinning. Uh, what this world, uh, all it needs uh, is Jesus. Uh, in the midst of its corruption, uh, in the midst of its uh, anxieties, uh, in the midst of its problems and brokenness, uh, heartaches and pain, uh, all this world really needs uh, is Jesus. Oh yeah. That, that, that's what we really need. Uh, yes. Uh, because let me tell you what he is doing. Uh, he is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead. That in all things he may have the preeminence. Yes. And that word is the theme of the book of Colossians. Yes. Uh, in this Christ of creation, Christ of the cross. Yes, uh, the reason why, uh, yes, when we say Christ of the cross is not an ugly word. The reason why when we talk about the Friday on which Jesus hung uh, on Calvary's cross and blood came streaming down uh, can be referred to as Good Friday. Yes, uh, it's because of the preeminence of Christ. Yes, uh, and what that simply means, uh, the preeminence of Christ, uh, means that he is better than anything else. Yes, uh, what that means uh, is that he is greater than anything else. Uh, what that means uh, is that there is no comparison uh, to anything else. Uh, you get some great athlete, uh, and there's another great athlete on the way. Uh, yes, you get some great, uh, yes, in this area, and some great uh, in that area, uh, whether it be swimming, uh, whether it be jumping, uh, whether it be uh, basketball or football, uh, my brothers and sisters, somebody else uh, is going to come along uh, to take that record at some point, uh, but when you talk about Jesus, there is no comparison. There is no one else, uh, yes, uh, who can take his record. Uh, he is Christ, the preeminent one. And, and, and so my brothers and sisters, 
as he goes to the cross, he, he makes that which is ugly, that which is dirty, that which is wicked. Uh, the, the cross, the cross was a place that was reserved for criminals. The cross uh, is a place uh, that was reserved uh, for those uh, who were thieves. Yes, uh, but God took something that was uh, awful and, and ugly uh, and he turned it into something uh, that was redemptive. Uh, he turned it into something uh, that was beautiful. Uh, he turned it into something uh, that is awesome uh, that we can hear today calls uh, to remember and to celebrate. Ain't that good news? Yes, uh, Jesus uh, Christ of the cross. Yes, he is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning, the firstborn <coughs> from the dead, that in all things he may have the preeminence. That's all things. Yes, not just some things. That's that's, that's all things. Uh, somebody said uh, it's all right, uh, yes, to worship him in church on Sunday morning. Uh, but, but when you walk into the office, uh, you got to leave that at home. Uh, somebody said it's all right for you to celebrate him uh, in the walls. Uh, but when you come onto the schoolyard campus, uh, you got to leave all that at home. We try to kick him out of uh, uh, prayer out of the schools. Uh, we try to kick him out uh, of the capital. Uh, we're trying to, to erase, his, erase his mark off of the money. Yes, uh, we don't want it to say uh, in God we trust. Uh, but I stop by to tell you that I don't care what they do at City Hall. Uh, I don't care what they do uh, in Sacramento. Uh, it don't make no difference uh, what our leaders do uh, in Washington. Uh, I stop by to tell you that Christ is still preeminent. Yes, uh, he still sit high and look low. Uh, this Jesus, the Christ of the cross. Yes, uh, no matter how hard they would try to brutalize him, no matter how hard they would try to scandalize his name, uh, my brothers and sisters, he, he just simply take it and he makes something beautiful out of the cross. Yes, uh, they would try best they could, yes, to destroy him. They only uh, made matters worse for themselves. Uh, they created uh, a crown of thorns uh, and pressed it on his head uh, to, to create excruciating pain on Jesus. Yes, but, but the reality of it all was that they were still giving him his crown. Yes, uh, they, 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 they saw him uh, in such a state, uh, dying between uh, two thieves, uh, and they thought that they could make a mockery of him, uh, yes, in this state. Uh, and, and so they put a placard over him, uh, said, King uh, of the Jews. Yes, uh, it, it was supposed to be a ridicule of him. Uh, yes, uh, a king uh, in death, uh, a king uh, on the cross, uh, a king uh, who is dying. Uh, but my brothers and sisters, they only, uh, yes, further the truth. Uh, yes, because uh, suddenly he is king uh, of the Jews. Uh, yes, my brothers and sisters, uh, I stop by to tell you uh, that in the cross, uh, Salvation is at the cross, at the cross, yes, where I first saw the light. It was there at the cross, yes, where the blood of Jesus washed me white as snow. It was there at the cross, yes, where my Savior died. Mm. Can I get a witness? Yes, my brothers and sisters, I stop by to declare to you this morning that Jesus is there in the midst of it all, uh, holding it together in your worst days. Yes, and, and, and I know my brothers and sisters, if you haven't had a worst day, if you haven't had a worst day, you just keep on living. Yes, uh, your bad days can get worse. Uh, yes, your, your dark days.
days uh, can get a little darker. Uh, yes, the clouds can come and creep in our lives. Uh, but I stop by to tell you that just like we can have some dark days, just like we can have some bad experience, uh, just like we can lose some things in life, uh, I stop by to tell you that God uh, can make it all right. Oh, yes, he can. Yes, uh, he can take some bitter, sour lemons mm. and make lemonade. Mm. Well, yes, yes, he can. Yes, he can. Yes, living all by themselves. Ah, sour. <laughs> living by themselves will make your face draw up. Living by themselves will just make you squirm if you just suck on too many of them. But I stopped by to tell you, you can take those same lemons, uh, yes, squeeze them over some meat, uh, allow them to rest in the refrigerator uh, for a little while, uh, cook it, uh, and it'll give it uh, the nicest flavor. Yes, I stop by to tell you that God can take your lemons in life and give you some lemonade. Yes, whatever been pulling you down, whatever been holding on to you, whatever been grabbing you by the coattail, trying to block your progress, I dare you to let God work in the midst of it. Yes. Just let him stir it around for a little bit. Yes, Sooner or later, yes, uh, he'll turn it out for your good. Yes, God, 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 God can change our circumstances. God can change our lives. He can change things around. We, we, we were born into goodness. Everything that he made was good. He put his step of approval on it. It was good. But Adam decided to take matters into his own hands. He sinned. He messed it up for everybody. <laughs> yes, he did. Yes. yes uh, there's always that kid in the neighborhood that just messes everything up for everybody. Yeah, you can play football on the vacant lot. Yeah, nobody bother you. The owners of the property don't bother you. But there's one kid and that always messes it up for everybody. Everybody else is just playing ball, but he want to peek in the windows. Everybody else is doing what they supposed to be doing, but he want to climb up on the roof. Everybody else, somebody always messes it up for everybody. Yes, and Adam just messed it up for Everybody. Yes. Uh, and, and, and so, my brothers and sisters, uh, I want you to know, just like Adam, the first Adam, uh, messed it up for everybody, uh, the second Adam, Jesus the Christ, uh, who would go to the cross, uh, he fixed it up for everybody. Yes. Uh, so, whosoever we. Yes, uh, and, and one thing that I like about the whosoever will cry, yes, uh, it, it don't matter what block you grew up on, you can still be in the whosoever will cry. It don't matter, uh, yes, how much money you had, uh, you can still be in the whosoever will crowd. It does not matter uh, what last name you got. Uh, it don't matter how much money mama or daddy makes. Uh, it don't matter what car you drive. Uh, I've got by to tell you that if you would just believe yes. in his son, you can be in that crowd. You can be in that number. Yes, uh, where, where God's death on the cross matters for you. Yes. Hmm. Yes, what, what God does for us is he shares with us in that, and I got, I got to move on, but he, he shares with us in that 21st, the end, latter part, he says, having made peace through the blood of his cross. What God does for you and for me is God do what we can't do on our own. There's no way humanly possible for us to, to create world peace, no matter how hard we try. Yeah, and, 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 I, and I know 
every time there's a school shooting, uh, somebody grabs the microphone, somebody takes it to the stage, and, and they say, we, we've got to make sure this never happens again. But I stop by to tell you that humanly it's not possible for us to stamp out all evil here on earth. And, and the reason why sometimes we get that confused is because we look at life from a human perspective or even a humanistic perspective where man feels like we got all the answers and that we are in control of everything. But I stop by to tell you that we cannot stamp out or root out all evil just like you can't get rid of all of the weeds in your yard. You can try ortho. Yes, uh, you, you can try scots, you can try all these other products, uh, but somehow or another the weed just keep coming back again and again. Uh, and that's like it is here on earth. Uh, yes, evilness just keep popping up its ugly head uh, in our lives. Uh, but I'll stop by to tell you that you all not throw up your hands. Uh, you all not uh, throw in the towel. Uh, you all not Uh, 
They, they placed a spear between the fourth and the fifth rib on that cross. Uh, they, they spat upon him uh, oh, and they called him names uh, on the cross. But he never said a mumbling word. I, I, it, it don't take too much more than somebody stepping on some of our shoes for us to say a mumbling word. Mm. Can I get a witness? Mm. Yes. Uh, it, it sometimes don't take more than somebody cutting us off. Uh, yes, swerving into our lane uh, for us to get mad. Uh, yeah, just have somebody the other day laying on their horn because uh, they didn't like me uh, moving out into another lane. Uh, yes, uh, sometimes I make a right turn uh, and it's legal to make a right turn, you know, but somebody uh, is in a hurry uh, and they ain't got time for me to slow down to make my right turn and so they lay on the horn. Uh, but I stop by to tell you that this guy that I had, yes. the world didn't give it and the world can't take it away. Yes, uh, so no matter what you face in life, no matter what you're going through in life, uh, yes, uh, just cling more closely to the cross. Uh, yes, he can get you through it. Uh, he can get you over it. Uh, he can get you around it. Uh, just hold on to God's unchanging hand. Yes. Uh, every verse says, say something about me, but I got to cut across the field. Uh, verse 21, verse 21 said, and you who were once, who once were alienated and enemies in your mind by wicked works, yet now he has reconciled. God can give us new life. God can give us a new birth. Yes, he can. And we don't have to no longer be alienated from God. And we don't have to be alienated from people. We don't have to be alienated from anything uh, if, if we would just simply connect with Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior in our lives. He can do it for us. Yes, that was a veil that would block our view of the Holy of Holies. That was a veil that only allowed the great high priest go into. But I stopped by to tell you that while Jesus hung on Calvary's cross, we talked about this the other week, he ripped the veil from top to bottom. And now only you can come to the throne of grace. Whatever's going on in your life, God has mended it. God has fixed it for us. Allow us to come unto him. Yes, I want you to understand the reason why the apostles were so radical in their faith. When they talked about the apostles and they talked about the early church believers and so forth, uh, in Thessalonica, they, when they were on their way to Thessalonica and the people heard that they were coming that way, uh, they, they described him in this fashion. They said <clears throat> that uh, the men who have turned the world upside down, they have come here also. I, I mean, they just, word on the street was that these fellows were radical, that these women were just radical in their faith. That, 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 that they just turned the world upside down. You want to know why it is that they were so radical? You want to know why it is that they were so instrumental in, in the beginning age and the development of the church age? I'm glad you asked the king. <laughs> because they knew that Jesus Christ died on the cross yeah. for their sins. Yeah. Yeah. But not only that, they knew that the same Christ of the cross was the Christ of the tomb. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 
you're looking at me the same way. <laughs> Just like the cross, it sounds like bad news. Christ on the tomb. That's bad news. What do you mean? They, they knew that he was also Christ of the tomb. He could claim ownership of the tomb because the tomb could not claim ownership over him. The tomb could not keep his body down. Yes, the rock was big enough. Yes, the, the, there were guards uh, who were standing uh, on the exterior to ensure that nobody would come uh, and move the stone. Uh, yes, uh, it, it was secure, uh, but I stopped by to tell you that God uh, could remove the stone from the inside out. Uh, God can get out of the stone. Uh, he was better than an escape artist. Uh, yes, uh, he was better than uh, any uh, magician. Uh, Yes, and what God did, yes, Satan thought that God had died. Yes, Satan was so glad, yes, that he had gotten rid of Jesus. Satan was so glad, yes, that, that Jesus was inside of the tomb. Soldiers were on the outside of the tomb, yes, but then God, yes, came open the and there he stood and he said, hey, folks, fool. <laughs> yes, he got up with all power in his hand. You thought I was dead, but I'm alive. You thought you got rid of me. Yes, but I live forevermore. You thought that, yeah, that was it and it was over. But I sit at the right hand of the Father. Yes. Christ uh, of the tomb. Yes, uh, firstborn uh, from the dead. Uh, yes, uh, when Jesus got up. Yeah. Yes, uh, Lazarus had already uh, been raised from the dead. Uh, I'm about to end right here. Uh, yes, uh, when Jesus got up. Uh, yes, uh, God uh, had already uh, raised up Jairus' daughter uh, when Jesus uh, got up. Uh, yes, uh, there were a number of other miracles uh, that had already uh, taken place. Uh, yes, uh, but the reason why uh, Jesus uh, is the firstborn uh, from the dead uh, is because when he got up, uh, unlike Lazarus uh, who had to die again, uh, yes, uh, Jesus got up uh, never to go down again. Uh, yes, uh, unlike uh, anybody uh, who was his predecessors, uh, who he had raised from the dead, uh, he got up uh, to live forevermore. Uh, I stopped by this morning uh, to remind you uh, that we serve uh, a risen Savior. Uh, yes, and he is uh, in the world today. Can I get a witness? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, my brothers and sisters, uh, when Jesus takes the stage, uh, yes, uh, the crowd uh, is going wild. Uh, when Jesus uh, got up from the grave, uh, yes, uh, everybody uh, were on their feet. Uh, yes, uh, more people were on their feet uh, than at a Michael Jackson concert. Uh, yes, uh, when Jesus uh, got up from the dead. Yes, he got up with all power in heaven and earth in his hand. Yes, no longer do you have to fear death, hell, and the grave. Yes, because he took the sting out of death and he robbed the grave of its victory. Yes, can't nobody. Yes, say about Jesus that a grave can hold his body down because it can't 
lives in the schoolroom. He lives on the world stage. He lives in America. He lives in Africa. He lives in China. He lives near and far because he's God all by himself. Yes, Jesus the Christ. The anointed one, Jesus, the long waited Messiah. No need for me to go back to the wailing wall. He done got up, he done been here, and he's done that. Yes, no need for me to wait for the Messiah. The Messiah has come, and his name is Jesus. I got to end right there. We got to share in the Lord's Supper. As we stand on our feet, doors of the church are open. This is your opportunity. This is your time. There's nothing that's too hard for God to handle in our life. And I just want to invite you down to the altar. God can handle your crisis. God can handle your situation. Difficulties in life, dark days and long nights. God can deal with that. I want to invite you right now. Amen. Let's just worship the Lord now and our giving. Giving is a part of worship. Amen. We're going to Pray now, Lord, bless the gifts and the givers. Use it to your glory in the building of your kingdom. And we pray your blessings, Lord, upon every individual, Lord, as we give. We pray that you would give increase. Amen. Lord, in Jesus' name, amen. 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 Oh, <coughs> amen and amen. God gave his son. that he would live and die for you and I. That he would have offered us an opportunity to live forevermore. Paul said that if Christ be not raised from the dead, that we have no hope. Thank God that Jesus was raised from the dead. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank God that Jesus yes. got up with all power in heaven and earth in his hands. Thank God that Jesus did it for you and for me. So I want you to just simply allow your minds to take a mental flight back in time. And I want you to see Jesus as he would walk down that rugged road, down the Via Della Rosa. I want you to picture him as he would carry that cross down the road. He'd carry it as far as he could carry it. I want you to see him as they would mock him and as they would crucify him, as they would whip him with a cat of nine tail. The blood came streaming down. Allow your minds to go back in time and just see him. See him as they would Scarn him, gamble over his clothing. See him. See him with a crown of thorns pressed upon his head. Can you see him? Yeah. The blood is streaming down and the water comes gushing forth. Can you see him? He did not die for any sin or crime that he committed. But he died for you and I. 
And he says to you and I, he says, as often as you do this, you do it in remembrance of me. So my brothers and sisters today, let us be reminded that had it not been for Jesus Christ on the cross, we would be of all men most miserable. If it had not been for Jesus Christ dying on the cross, we'd just as well be playing golf or at the beach. But thank God for Jesus that he did die, that he was buried, and thank God that he got up with all power in his hand. Shall we pray? Lord, we thank you now for your Son and our Savior. We thank you for his death on the cross. And we ask now, Lord, not that you would change these elements from natural to supernatural. But, Lord, we ask that you would change our hearts and our minds. We ask, Lord, that you would wash and cleanse us, Lord. Prepare us, Lord, as we receive these elements. Let us be reminded of the great cost that was paid at Calvary. Let us be reminded of your son who died in our place. In Jesus' name, amen.
you. For every individual as we pray one for another, hear our prayer, hear our request, hear our burdens and our cry, our pains, our afflictions in life. And Lord, we pray that as we walk out of these doors and never out of your presence, that you would just continue to minister grace in our lives. Lord. Have your hand of mercy upon us. Allow your angels to be about us. In the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for what you have done and what you're about to do in our lives. In Jesus' name. Now unto him who is able to keep you from falling. Present you fullness before his presence with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now, henceforth, and forevermore. Let us all say, Amen.